Did you know that trading on a desktop or a laptop doesn't just make things much easier, but it's also safer? Now, with a bigger screen, fewer tap errors and just overall better control over all your transactions and even sometimes less fiddly than the mobile apps. So, whether you are already a beginner or a veteran investor, Mumu Desktop packs everything you need for your investment. And the same can be said with trading indicators like drawing trend lines or support and resistance lines on desktops is just way more precise. And once you try it, you won't go back. And that's what we are doing today. This is your full walkthrough of the Mumu desktop app as a total beginner. But before that, this video is made possible thanks to Mumu Malaysia and they have worked together with us to deliver this comprehensive yet beginner-friendly tutorial for you. If you are totally new to them, don't worry. Whether with the Mumu app or the Mumu desktop, you can trade Malaysia, Singapore, US, Hong Kong and China markets in just one account with minimal brokerage fees. And if you haven't signed up yet, now is the best time. Mumu is giving all my followers exclusive sign-up rewards, including free Apple shares. You can find all the latest details in a pinned comment down below. And that was it via Mumu mobile app with my exclusive code Z11 to grab your rewards before the campaign ends. Alright, let's get started with one of the best features you can get on the Mumu desktop. The free real-time market data, something that most other brokers usually charge for. You'll get access to the NYSE Arca Level 2 market depth for the US stocks, showing up to 60 bid and ask price levels in real-time, and it refreshes every 0.3 seconds. Now, some might ask, why only US stocks? Well, simply because they are super liquid with tons of trading volumes as I've covered in other videos so making them perfectly ideal for this one. Now, with this feature, you can spot where strong buy orders are stacking up by big buyers acting as support levels or where selling pressures are strong creating resistance levels that can block a stock's rally. And this helps you to time your entries or stop losses more strategically below strong buy zones and help you avoid thin order books where prices might fluctuate too fast. Plus, if you spot heavy sell walls above the current price, that can be a great signal for you to take profit as well. I mean, take Tesla for example. The stock jumped right after Elon Musk invested $1 billion US in stock purchases. Confidence eventually shot up and you can see that strong support is forming around $434 US with the resistance near about the $433 in after trading hours. I mean, sure, there was still some selling pressure due to the rally but the buying interest was stronger, meaning the big players were holding the floor for you. And if you want to keep this free access, the requirement is pretty simple. Just maintain a 30-day average account value of at least 100 US dollar. And if you don't, your access will drop back to level 1 data, which only shows the best bid and the best ask prices, the BBO. Now, if you want more features, you can of course subscribe to Momo's market data package, which is about 120 ringgit a month, or gain enough Momo points to reach Momo V1 membership to get full Nasdaq buy and sell order data with 20 times deeper liquidity than level 2 as it reveals the entire buy and sell orders at every price level that is submitted to Nasdaq which is kind of institutional level kind of insights. But honestly, the NYSE Arca level 2 is good enough for most people but it's always nice to have the option right? Now, once you got the data, the next question is how do you actually use it to make better trading decisions? That's where technical analysis comes in. Basically, it's about reading charts like looking at price movements and trading volumes to see where buyers are stepping in, where sellers are taking profits, and where you might want to jump in or take profits yourself. And this is where a desktop really makes a whole lot of difference. Now, on the app itself, you can add indicators, draw support and resistance lines, and just see everything laid out clearly on a bigger screen. And that extra space makes it much easier to spot potential buy or sell points compared to a mobile app. And before this, have you ever heard of stocks that are overbought or oversold and wondered how this actually works or is being measured? It is actually spotted by two popular and commonly used indicators like the Relative Strength Index or RSI indicator and also the Moving Average, the MA indicator. Now, with Momo's advanced charting tools, you can explore both of these right on your chart itself. Here's a bit of background for you. 
RSI is actually developed by a technical analyst and the formula for it is RSI equals to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus RS where RS is the average gain divided by the average loss and it measures the speed and change of price movement to detect whether the stock is overbought or oversold and traditionally, if the RSI reading is at 70 or above, it means the stock is in overbought territory. For example, the share price of Apple on the 3rd to 5th of September, their share price rallied past RSI 70, all because of the new iPhone 17 launching event. And it clearly showed it is overbought territory because it fell significantly after the hype. And this is very normal for a popular stock like this one, as people believe in their positive sentiment of new iPhones and whatsoever. Now, on the flip side, when RSI drops below 30, that's what we call oversold, signaling the selling pressure might have gone too far and a rebound might just be on the way. For example, during Chinese New Year earlier this year, Nvidia celebrated with a major sell-off on the 27th of January right after the Chinese AI app Deep6 spooked the entire AI market. And this drop pushed Nvidia's RSI way below 30. But soon after the panic sell-off, the stock actually rebounded and RSI climbed back above 30. So just imagine RSI as a rubber band. The more it stretched on the downside, the more likely it is to snap back up. But then again, uh, this doesn't mean that RSI predicted the news of future events. It is, in fact, a lagging indicator based on past price movements. And what it does is it helps you to see whether or not the market is overreacting and gives you another chance to spot the potential rebound opportunities if you miss the earlier boat. And here's one more important index beginners often overlook, the RSI 50 level. If RSI is above 50, it means buyers are stronger and the stock is leaning towards bullish sentiment. And if RSI is below 50, it means sellers are stronger and momentum is leaning towards bearish sentiment. And if it hovers around the 50 level, well, that means the market is in neutral or sideways consolidation with no clear trend. Now, RSI is just one of many tools and another very common indicator that you will often see on charts is the moving average, the MA. You have probably seen this line running across stock charts, but what does it actually tell you? Well, MA is an indicator used to smooth out a stock's daily price movements so that you can clearly see the stock's trend in the short term, medium term or long term. And usually, when investors see a price crossing above or below these moving averages, they will kind of treat it as a potential breakout or reversal point. Now, let's start with the short term, which is MA5. Now, if you wondered why MA5, well, of course, five trading days ma. and this is a short term indicator which averages out the last five days of prices to show you the near term trend and most of the intraday traders use this to confirm if the buy or sell momentum is still strong in the market and this is extra useful during companies quarter report earnings season i mean take apple again for example before the earnings report release the ma5 indicator shows a bearish trend which signals to the intraday traders that apple in the short term is in a bear cycle but when you're a long-term investor you probably want to look at the ma60 and ma120 which represent roughly three months and six months of trading data which long-term investors usually watch these lines closely because if a stock has been stuck below the ma120 for months and finally break through it that could be a signal of a recovery trend or what the traders always call a bullish reversal and you look at this again, it broke above its 120-day moving average in January 2023 after months of trading well below it. And many investors took this as a signal of a recovery trend. And boom, volume spike. And clearly, you can see how it pushed the stock out of its stubborn consolidated phase onto new highs. But here's a little disclaimer, huh? you can't really just rely on moving averages or RSI alone. These are just tools. The real edge comes when you combine them with news, fundamentals, earnings and also their trading volume trends. And remember what I've mentioned before, indicators are all lagging indicators. They tell you what has already happened, not what's about to happen. So when fresh news hits the market and your portfolio is a mix of stocks and ETFs and some stocks in your watch list, you don't really have the luxury of waiting. So you've got to act fast, right? Instead of flipping through different charts or opening trading view in your second screen or creating multiple tabs, Mumu Desktop actually puts everything onto one screen for you. For example, I like to track Apple, 
Nvidia, Tesla or SPY and QQQ the moment the US market opens. This gives you a snapshot of the market's mood like SPY which is S&P 500, it reflects the health of US companies or the economy in general. Like in QQQ, it tracks the big tech and stocks like Apple, Nvidia and Tesla are global tech giants that basically drive the market sentiment in the US. And as the saying goes, when the US sneezes, the world usually catches a cold and that's how influential the market is. Now, with Momo's multi-view mode, you can just select your watch list, click multi-view and instantly see up to 8 charts side by side. And with that, you could likely spot which asset securities are performing and which are lagging under your watch list. And it doesn't just stop there. If the default page looks too basic or you want to check on news while you are trading, you can fully customize your Momo desktop by clicking the Add Widgets on the top right hand corner and add features that you want or even build a brand new personalized trading setup by opening a new tab yourself, just like how you would do in Google Chrome or Safari tabs. Just don't forget to hit save when you are done with it. And now, let's imagine it's FOMC night. Jerome Powell announces a red card and within just seconds, the market reacts. On your mobile desktop, you see it all clearly. Tech names like AMD and Nvidia start sliding while the financial sector and the bank ETFs tick higher. And this is because the Federal Reserve cuts rates, that means money tends to rotate in the economy and investors will take some profits out from high-flying tech and shift into areas like financials such as JP Morgan and Bank of America and also the broader market. And these sectors actually benefit more directly from cheaper borrowing which will eventually lead to higher loan demand and stronger growth. But obviously, their net interest margin or the NIM is also compressed at the same time. But then again, that's a topic for some other day. Now, at the same time, Momo's news feed flashes the update immediately on your screen. No refreshing Twitter, no more waiting for delayed headlines. You know exactly what's happening in the stock market. And if you're afraid the news may affect the stock of yours, you can also create your usual trade volume and price that you want to lock in and set it up with all your shortcut keys like myself over here. And once the news is announced and the share price reacts, your order can be executed within seconds. And with these handy shortcut keys, your order is actually placed faster than the mobile app. So by now, you can probably see how powerful Momo Desktop is for tracking multiple stocks and executing trades quickly when the big news hits. But tools alone don't make you a better trader or investor or even earn you more money. The real question is, how do you practice and test your strategy without risking your real money? Well, that's where Momo Paper Trading comes in. You get 1 million ringgit in virtual funds to practice trading either stocks or ETFs in the real market conditions, but with zero risk. It's like a trading simulator where you can make mistakes, learn from them and eventually build confidence before you go live. And also, worry less, Momo doesn't just throw you into the deep end. It's packed with beginner-friendly tutorials, indicator guides and even short courses on topics covering candlestick patterns, moving averages, RSI, MACD indicators, volume and even volatility signals. Whether you are learning through step-by-step -step explainers or expert-led webinars, Momo is basically a built-in classroom for both new and veteran investors and traders. And remember the RSI moving average indicators that I've mentioned just now, you can also start it with the paper trade by testing, tweaking and see what really works before your real money is in the actual market. So from pro level charting to real time news, deep data to paper trading, Momo Desktop is like having a full investment command center all in one platform and I would say it's perfect for every investor or trader. And of course, if you haven't signed up yet, they are now giving away lots of cash coupons and free Apple shares but only for my followers. So that was it now using my exclusive code Z11 to get extra rewards before their campaign ends. Thanks for watching.